Right, so I've passed you and now I'm gonna go into the boat yard and hopefully surprise Tim with some lovely lunch. And it's a beautiful day, so we'll see what he's up to and uh, see if he starts getting all that metal crap together so we can fill up the skip. So let's go. Such a precious gift to me. The salty breeze and the waves. The slow pace. The salty breeze and the waves. I'm out of our place. So we've had our lunch, uh, some delicious pasties. Uh, we had quite a long lunch because, uh, as you can probably see, it's absolutely roasting hot down here today. Probably the nicest day we've had down here for a while. Um, so we're just enjoying that a little bit. Um, so the plan is that we are getting a skip uh, tomorrow morning, I believe. Tim's arranged that. And the skip's going to be right down the end of the pontoon. And we are going to have to carry a crap load of metal that Tim has managed to accumulate over the last five or six years that he's been on the boat here. And a lot of the metal he's used for various upcycling projects over the, the years. But what we're hoping is that um, apart from just clearing all this out and making it all nice again, um, that we will hopefully be able to weigh it in and get a little bit of cash. So who knew that there was so much cash involved in scrap metal, but apparently there is. So I think we're just gonna have a look and see exactly what Tim's managed to uh, collect. So I shall let him go through that now. Oh, God. Yeah, this is all the stuff like it's not like I collect it and it might come in handy one day. It's not kind of that kind of situation. So this is rubbish, but I've accumulated it because it makes more sense to kind of get rid of it in one go. And the poor old truck going backwards and forwards to get rid of steel, I didn't really want to do that. So yeah, and I've, I've been, I've got to point out, as I've been stripping things down, taking the nails out of planks of wood. I've just been putting them in little tubs and now I have many, many tubs. And I dread to think how many hundreds of nails there are and big bolty stars and all sorts of things. All cut off the boat and uh, yeah, there's a lot of it. And I suppose eventually you get like, you get half a dozen of these it's actually worth some money. That's a lot of nails. Yeah, but this is actually a few quid's worth as well. It's amazing. It's just old nails. I'll take your word for it. Amazing. We shall find out tomorrow. Yeah, there's more rubbish. <laughs> oh. Some pretty heavy rubbish. Uh, this, this piece here I can't even lift up. That took us uh, three of us to actually lift off the boat. It's very thick. Oh, and most is up here underneath this blue tarpaulin there's a lot a lot of rubbish up there oh good yeah yeah you're gonna be busy come and have a look if you like so yeah they don't take gas bottles um, I can't even get up here this is all just steel underneath all of this in here there's cable chain oh look that's the exhaust pipe off the truck oh happy memory yeah it's always look at that, it's brand new it's still got the label on it Bit a ford <laughs> wow God. yeah so worth um, something. Yeah, it's worth about 10p um <laughs> every little helps yeah uh, i'll um I uh, just wait till I've stripped it all, the top off it and everything. Uh, basically, I've got to carry this mound 
all the way over there. All the way over where? Beauty of this life. Such a feeling to be alive. So here we go. So I'm just standing on the top deck of the boat here, looking back down at um, all the stuff that we've got to move. Um, I've got no idea how long this is going to take. Sort of optimistically thinking it might be a day or two, but um, probably not. So next time I stand up here and look down on that, I want it to be looking a lot nicer. We shall see. Salty breeze and the waves The slower pace The salty breeze and the waves Another gorgeous day, and uh, it's quite quite lively down here this morning at the boatyard. Um, there's a few people working, a bit of noise in the background. You can probably hear. Um, we're just waiting for the skip to arrive. Uh, we've been moving some stuff down to the other end of the pontoon. It's about ten o'clock now, and I think the skip was meant to be here maybe about an hour ago. So um, Tim's just gone to check that out. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to actually start filling it up soon. big enough to put all the stuff in but this is quite a this is a 10 yarder apparently rather than an eight yard builder's skip so uh, I think we should get it all in this one could get you in it this could be a new houseboat I wonder if it floats So current metal prices, depending on what you've got, is um, quite variable. So if you've got a ton of stainless steel, you're looking at around 550 to 750 pounds a ton. If you've got aluminium, you're looking at around 750 pounds a ton. If you've got copper, you're looking at around £3,000 a tonne, depending on the grade. In fact, I think for the copper wire, you're looking at around £4,500 a tonne. But 
you know, that would be a lot of copper wire. And if you've got a ton of gold, because you never know if you've got a ton of gold just stashed away somewhere, you're looking at 31 million pounds a ton. So if that was the case, I'd be booking myself a holiday. As it is, I think what we're, we're trading in is a little bit of a mix of a few things, but it's mostly what I guess you'd call steel or iron. Um, for iron, you're looking at around 30 to 100 pounds a ton. And we are looking at around 80 to 150 pounds a ton. So we've got a big skip. We've never done this before, so we don't really know how much a ton weighs. Um, skip costs 70 pounds. A ton pounds. weighs a ton. Pardon? A ton weighs a ton. But I don't know what it looks like. Or even what it feels like to hold it in my hands. <laughs> Can you, can you point out, well, this is a UK tonne and UK It's a UK tonne. Which is different to an American one probably, isn't it? I don't know. A tonne is a tonne is a tonne. <laughs> yeah, all right. You can see that we know nothing. So we've paid £70 for the skip, I believe. Um, so I guess we would be looking at needing maybe half a tonne to break even. Uh, of course, the main reason for doing this is just to get rid of all the stuff, but it'd be really, really nice if we made some cash as well, because, you know, you never know. I slept all night on a big white ship Seagulls were dancing all around I woke up with a sunrise on the sea Such a priceless gift to me A salty breeze So day three And today it's, uh, it's another lovely day actually It's a little bit more overcast but it's still pretty nice There's uh, a big boat coming in behind me so probably going to start rocking around in a moment the tide's up and today we're going to be moving all the heavy stuff into the skip uh, Tim's already made a start I've got my overalls on so I'm ready for some action and uh, hopefully today we'll get the rest of it done boat that we've got over here. Start. The clock of your life 
life seems to be tick-tock, tick-tock, run, run, run. Spoke your feel full of time, you know it's gonna be. Sometimes you know it's gonna get tough in your life. Well, I think we're just about finished. We finished filling up the skip. So now we just got to sweep up. And we finished just in time because it's good old Cornish weather. It's starting to mizzle. So frizzy hair. It's a good look. Uh, so the next thing is just that we will weigh in all the goodies and see how much money we make. Finally, um, it must be uh, one or two weeks later now, but the skip finally got collected earlier on, and uh, as you saw, and it was full to the brim. So that was a lot of work went into filling that, and I'm pleased to say that it's finally been collected. It's a beautiful day, and we're now just able to enjoy a little bit of leisure time. Um, so as you can probably see behind me, the pontoon is looking a lot tidier. Um, took a lot of work clearing all that out. We've still got a few things left on there. We've got a load of um, stainless steel just over there, which Tim is going to take on his truck to have that weighed in at some point as well. I think there's quite a bit more value in that, so uh, fingers crossed. And we've got a few other things left on there as well, so we'll probably mean hiring out some general skip to take away all the rubbish. But I'm really pleased with uh, getting all that heavy metal finally uh, done and dusted. So I guess the only thing left to say is, what did we get for it? <laughs> and uh, Tim's actually been keeping this a secret from me, and I'm absolutely dying to know. So he's got all the info on this piece of card that he's now handing tea over to me. Teabag box. Teabag box. The perfect cup of tea with instructions. So, you know, lots of information in this video for you. So what did we have? Okay. Well, the final weight of the metal, and I'm seeing this for the first time, was actually 2.940 metric tons which is just under three tons obviously I make that I guess around I don't know what would that be 2940 bags of sugar <laughs> that we loaded into the skip let's just think about that for a moment that was a lot of loading into the skip so 2.94 tons wow it felt like it and of that metal, uh, we filled it with light iron and heavy iron. So the light iron, according to Tim's information, was actually just a couple of hundred kilos. And the rest was good old heavy steel. Yeah, it felt like good old heavy steel as well. Um, so what did we get for it? Well, we paid 70 pounds for the skip, as I think I said before. So allowing for that, I've now got to peel off this sticker and I presume that under this it's going to tell me how much money we've made. How exciting! I can't pick it up. 
we made, after the £70 was taken off of it, £362.60. Wow. That's really, really good. I guess drinks are on you tonight then, darling. <laughs> Want a beer? Have you got any beer? Yeah. So the drinks are on you then. <laughs> Seagulls were dancing all around I woke up with a sunrise on the sea Such a precious gift to me Salty breeze and the waves The slow pace Salty breeze and the waves 